All right, today we're back in uh, Upper Bidwell Park in Chico, California. We're gonna be doing a trail accessibility preview for another route that uh, is similar to the one in the first video of the trail accessibility playlist. Uh, we are at uh, parking lot area C with the observatory, and we're gonna be riding a short trail that is marked as accessible for wheelchair access on the uh, Bidwell Park, Upper Park map. Uh, looks like it's made of hard pack uh, dirt and pea gravel, so uh, a chair shouldn't uh, sink in. Uh, it doesn't have any embedded rock or uh, loose rock in terms of large stones, uh, but uh, it does have a couple small inclines. So we'll get a quick look at this. I'm gonna just bring up my uh, GPS here and we'll see if we can get a little bit of information about distance. I think it's about a quarter mile, so it's a fairly short trail, but then it can be looped into another trail. Okay, we've got our GPS signal. We'll start a track here and uh, see about how far this is. The great thing about this little area of the park is for somebody that has very limited mobility, uh, there's a lot of bang for the buck for what you can get right off the uh, reserve parking pad here. Uh, there is a, an accessible porta potty. Uh, there is no water access here though. Uh, there is an accessible fishing pier as well as viewing pier. Uh, there's, uh, we're right along Horseshoe Lake here on the southwest side. It's more of a pond right now, but there's still some uh, great viewing of ducks and geese. So let's go ahead and we'll start as if we had parked on the concrete pad and we're gonna head through on this trail past a, an accessible porta potty. So the trail's made to be wide enough for uh, someone using a standard wheelchair. And this would also be a great little outing for somebody that might be on foot, but still have some balance issues or have any difficulty with rougher terrain. So we're gonna head along the south side of the lake. So one of the few areas in Upper Park that has shade, but it's shaded throughout the day. So it's a nice place to stop and use some ducks and geese out in the lake. Also a great view of the North Rim and north side of the canyon. As we head further along the trail, it's a few little bumps, but nothing that's really gonna get in your way. There are some offshoot trails down to the lake area and a nice smooth bridge. We are gonna get into a couple small inclines. So depending on somebody's ability to handle inclines and declines, there's nothing too crazy, but just wanna make sure you know that it is not perfectly flat. So now we're getting to the east uh, side of the lake. And this is where the trail marked as being fully accessible terminates at this lot. There's some water fountain access. Again, a little incline, nothing too crazy, but uh, someone might need a little bit of a spot to get up it. Luckily the gravel's not very deep, so you're not gonna sink in. So now we're at parking lot area E. Also picnic table access, uh, two reserved parking spaces with a concrete pad. Across the parking lot, there is another accessible porta potty and the parking lot is also hard pack uh, dirt with uh, gravel. So uh, not a lot of rolling resistance if you're rolling across it there. Um, so let's go ahead and check out our camera here, or our, our GPS and see about how far that was. Pretty quick on a mountain bike, but it'll take, could be a little longer time if you're out walking it or rolling it. Uh, so 0.24, oh, sorry. So about a, let's see, what's our distance here? Okay, yep, 0.24 of a mile, so just about a quarter of a mile. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and tie that in. If somebody has a little bit more 
or feels a little more capable with a little bit rougher terrain, nothing too bad. We're gonna go ahead and loop around the lake and end up back at our starting point at parking lot area C back there at the observatory. You can kind of see across the uh, lake too, there's been a prescribed burn recently. So kind of got some moon surface there. It's interesting because it does expose some of the trails that you'd never know are there that run network through the, this area of the park. All right, so let's go ahead and take a quick look. Okay, this part of the trail is still considered accessible, but the gravel's a little deeper here. I'm sure that shifts around. And it is uh, gonna be summer. Today's supposed to be about 107. So all those green soft grasses that were in the first video in this playlist are now uh, dry grasses and also inter, uh, interspersed with, uh, I don't even know what that's a word, interspersed <laughs> with uh, uh, star thistle. So if you have anything with inflatable tires, you just wanna be really careful to make sure that if you're pushing through any grass area, you're also uh, being aware that there could be some star thistle in there. So now I'm gonna start running along the north side of the lake. Trail's still nice and wide, does have some embedded rock. A couple gullies or some offshoot trails that can take you right back down to the lake. Little gully. Uh, luckily it's not off camber, so if you're using a piece of equipment that has an axle that's a little wider, you're not gonna have to worry about tipping on it. And there's not much of a of an incline, but from here it would be a little push. Again, you can kind of see that green star thistle right in the middle of the trail, so we'd want to avoid that. Looks like it's plenty wide to do that though. Okay, for somebody who's a little more ambitious, we could connect to middle trail here. And uh, that heads uh, parallel to the rim of the north rim of the uh, canyon, but it has some pretty technical spots, a lot of embedded rock, inclines, and uh, a lot of loose rock. So what we're doing, we just ran along the north side of the lake. We're gonna connect here on the levee. Again, nice and smooth. Hard packed dirt, no gravel though, so in the winter months it could get a bit muddy up here. So as long as you're staying on trail, shouldn't have to worry about the star thistle. Um, if anybody's hanging with a visual impairment, they definitely want to know there's a couple low overhangs here. And then there's some tree root areas, but it looks like it's wide enough for a standard chair to get through there. And as you can see now, I'm heading right back to parking lot area C. We'll take the accessible trail back. And in back at the pad. So that would be a potential loop around the lake that uh, could be done by a hiker. Uh, who is uh, using adaptive equipment or adaptive techniques. It'd also be a nice little run for somebody who's uh, getting used to riding on an adapted mountain bike to just learn how to handle it. So let's take a look here. Okay, so the total distance was just under three quarters of a mile. And uh, let's see. Yep, there's not really much in the way of elevation loss or gain, just uh, you know, 10, 15 feet here and there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pause that. And then I was gonna show you one other area here that might be of interest. If you happen to be visiting around the observatory, unfortunately they've got some paths that look to be wide enough for wheelchair access nice and flat. And this is the open sky planetarium. So if it's not a hundred degree day, 
Uh, it's kind of a nice place to come and sit. It actually has concentric uh, ring seating uh, that's uh, uh, reclined back. So uh, I believe it's Thursday through Sunday, uh, probably once uh, COVID, the COVID pandemic restri restrictions are lifted. Uh, they, when it's uh, clear skies, there'll be volunteers out here doing um, some astronomy uh, talks and you can come out and relax on in the seating and look up at the sky. So anyway, just a couple cool things that you can come visit. Uh, you don't have to go very far uh, from this parking lot to get some very cool things. And if you feel like it, you could do a loop around the lake. If you feel like being more ambitious, you can head off into the park on middle trail uh, either direction. All right, I hope you get out and enjoy it soon. If you want any uh, more information about any other spot on this trail, or uh, more detailed information about anything that was in the video, just send me the uh, time marker and I'll go out and I'll walk it around with the camera and give you a 360 view and we can talk about trail width and features. Okay, all right, get out and enjoy and uh, thanks again for going for a ride with me.